We live in tents because we can't afford your scam called rent. Yeah, rent is a lie paid by us all because we colonized into believing like it's analogous with breathing. That someone owns Mama Earth, drumming it into us since birth. Nah, buying a small piece of her don't make you safe. In fact, it just makes you party to the pillage and rape. All we need to do is work hard and get our own little piece. No, you don't. That ain't set in stone. All you weekday revolutionaries with trust funds and land-stealing parents who stay quiet and organize in circles about where your money come from and how you even have the time to protest and walk liberation. You culpable, too. All of us who save and save because that's all we've been taught about how to be safe from scam lords and their endless lying ways. Income property, rent increases, evictions and interest rates, banksters and real estate snakes, buying and selling, pimping and playing every single day in stolen America, KKK. Yeah, I say cancel rent, and in the same breath, I say unsell Mama Earth. And the peoples who have privilege and trust funds and hoarded resources, redistributing to those of us who don't. So together, we can all liberate, whether we houseless or housed, indebted to bankster loans. Follow the lead of First Nations warriors like we do at Homefulness, who have protected Mama Earth since back in the day, and in the reign of terror and Mama Earth rape. Then, and only then, we might be able to talk about being safe. La renta, los biles de luz, de teléfono, aquí todo se paga y no tenemos trabajo. Okay. So, we need money to pay the rent, we need money for paid bills, for in USA, everything they have to pay. Otherwise, they kick you out. That's right. I... Our landlord is telling us we'll be evicted if we don't pay the rent. Yeah, that's what Miriam told us. You just heard one of the indigenous refugees who doesn't even speak the other colonizer's language as her first language from the other side of these false borders who came to Homefulness Sliding Scale Cafe to receive our poor mama's diaper fund, food, and jailhouse lawyer advocacy. We are all afraid, she concluded. So yeah, us poor magazine jailhouse lawyers all went to work to support her and her family so they wouldn't continue to be harassed by their scam lord who just like so many scam lords in this time of pandemic doesn't seem to care about the state, county, and citywide moratorium against evictions put in place since the shelter-in-place mandate began. Yeah, guess what? Because they count on us not knowing what's up. I'm living here with my daughter, Fatima, one of the tenants of 3080 United Richmond Tenants, spoke about her struggle to pay rent in the middle of this pandemic. We are out of work. We have no money. The 37 tenants of 3080 Richmond from Oakland are all hardworking people, just like Miriam, caregivers, small business peoples, contractors, working class, very low income some middle class, and all working before the pandemic, and now out of work and out of rent. Yeah, Alameda County put an eviction moratorium in place, which, albeit requires the tenant to pay the rent in the future, which this poverty scholar can tell you means us poor folks are messed, are effed up no matter what. 
Because if we don't got the money now, we sure as hell ain't going to have the money then. But the reality is it gives you some protection from the scam lords. And guess what? These scam lords don't care about it at all. They're harassing tenants all the time with three-day notices. Towing our cars, said Momi Palabras, one of the tenants of 3080 Richmond, a poverty scholar and organizer with self-help hunger program and poor magazine who helped to organize this powerful resistance at 3080 Richmond. Listen to Momi, Miriam, and Fatima. I was reminded of me and Mama's lifelong struggle. I don't think we're going to have enough for the rent. When Mama would say this, which she said so many times throughout my childhood, since she lost her job and ended up on the street, my heart would start beating faster and I would literally become terrorized. Is there anything else we can sell, I would ask? But it was always the same story. We would pay the rent for as long as we made money in the street-based business, and then somehow something would always happen. One of us would get sick. The hoopties we always had would break down. The cost to fix them would break us. and Or we wouldn't sell enough stru- st- uh, T-shirts on the street. Or a bill collector would find us. That's just one of many things. Whether it was motel rooms or apartments, we would be kicked out all the time. And end up back where we started. Sleeping in our cars when we had one. Or on park benches, bus benches, or shelter beds. Yeah, that was my life from age 11 to 22. We tried everything all the time and worked really hard to get ahead. So don't ever tell me us poor folks are lazy, crazy, dumb, and a bum, as anti-social workers many times called me. Hardest working people is us poor folks just trying to stay alive. But somehow, some way, we would always end up outside. The original reason me and my... Myself and my son and three other single mamas in the mission launched Mama House back in 2007. We had all been evicted, dealt with homelessness, and were unable to afford the gentrification rents. And this work eventually led to Poor Magazine launching Homefulness in Deep East Huichin. Yeah, homefulness. A homeless people solution to homelessness. What? We are homeless with children and these homes are just sitting here vacant, said Dominique. One of the powerful members of Moms for Housing who launched a full-scale resistance to the hoarding of empty homes and the rent strike in East Oakland that just happened before COVID-19 even happened, taking over all of these lies called rent. Moms for Housing and ACE are working now on a council rent campaign. From the original Lords of the Land, a.k.a. the word Landlord, that was launched in feudal societies back in the European places of the settler colonizers, stealing people's land even there, and then charging them to live on their own land in their own homes, or they'd be evicted, to the settler colonial theft by the same people when they came over to here to occupy Turtle Island and wage genocide in indigenous peoples. We have all been told and sold that this is the way to make it. Buying and selling Mama Earth is the plan. Yeah. And so meanwhile, big and small management companies like Raj Properties, who are the owners and terrorizers of 3080 Richmond, continue to get away with this abuse, mismanagement, harassment, uninhabitable conditions, and abuse of our tenants. Now, with over 16 million people filing for unemployment, it has become more crucial that the demands to cancel rent, mortgage, and utility payments are met. Today, we are building a powerful movement of renters, homeowners, and community members across the country to all demand a debt-free future and the cancellation of rent. These are some fighting words from the website www.cancelrent.us. On April 22nd, they waged a national call to politricsters and communities to lift up a movement to cancel rent and are now organizing for May Day. My only hope with movements like this is that they center, include, and vision their work in the spaces where us poor folks actually dwell. Folks like Fatima, Momi, Miriam, me and my mama, 
tenants who, like me and Ma, were not woke or politicized, didn't understand or oversand the inherent problems with capitalism, as I call it now, but are terrified of being evicted, work every day to try to somehow make it in this capitalist lie, these scarcity models, center these movements in what I call poverty scholarship, which is lived, not just learned experience of struggle. Why we wrote the book, Poverty Scholarship, Poor People Led Theory, Art, Words, and Tears Across Mama Earth. And that additionally, all the work surrounding any kind of land use, land liberation, rent theft, tenant organizing, stop just being for tenants, but include unhoused folks, include First Nations honoring and recognition that indigenous peoples experience this first form of removal, eviction, and gentrification. Yeah, it was called colonization. It's okay if you don't have the rent. After years of eviction and homelessness, PTSD that lives with me to this day, the only thing that worked for me and Ma was meeting a scam lord who wasn't a scam lord. It was actually a beautiful sister from China who didn't evict us the first time we didn't have rent money. And for the first time in our poverty-stricken lives, our rent was canceled. We're asking people to stand with the tenants of 3080 United Richmond Tenants tomorrow, Monday, April 26th, at 3 p.m. for a Zoom press conference. Please tune in and you can get the Zoom instructions by going to www.poormagazine.org slash calendar. And then at 2 p.m., drive-by caravans in front of the Real Snakes office of Raj Properties at 520 Van Buren in Oakland. That will be part of May Day on May 1st. For more information, again, on either of these actions, specifically the Zoom press conference, go to www.poormagazine.org slash calendar. And please support us, poor folks. If you're going to cancel rent, God knows we need our rent canceled. Well, let me tell you something, all that glitters ain't gold. It's been a long, old trouble, long, old troublesome road. And I'm looking for somebody, come and help me carry this load. I need dollar, 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 that's what I need. Well, I need dollar.